Now for part D then, we've got that if AB equals the matrix T, T we worked out earlier in the question was 800 zero, zero, minus 8. And if AB equals T, we've got to work out what the constants K and C are in the matrix B. Well, to do this, all we've got to do then is say that this matrix, the result of AB, must be identical to this matrix. Let's just put that down here. So we would therefore have that the matrix for AB, 6K plus C, and then we've got 0 there, and 4K plus 2C, and minus 8 there, must be identical to the matrix T, which we know is 8, 0, 0, minus 8. So, if that's the case, then you can see that the 0 matches up, the minus 8 matches up here. It just means that 6K plus C must be equivalent to the 8, and 4K plus 2C must be the 0. So, let's just come down here and we'll finish this off. So, we can see that therefore 6K plus C must equal the 8 here. Let's call this equation 1. And we can also see then that 4K plus 2C must be the 0. We'll put and 4K plus 2C must equal the 0. Now I can divide this through by 2. So if I did that, we would therefore have that 2K plus C must equal 0. I'll call that equation 2. And I've got to solve these simultaneous equations. And obviously you could do it by substitution or elimination. I'm going to do it just by elimination. Leave it up to you though, what you want to do. So we'll have, say, equation 1 then minus equation 2. What does that give us? Well, we've got 6K then. Take away 2K is 4K. And we've got 8 take away 0. That's 8. So you can see that therefore K equals 2. And if we just sub this back into, say, equation 2 here, sub in 2, dead easy. So we've got that 2 multiplied by the 2 plus C equals 0. 4 plus C equals 0. That means that C must equal minus 4. So at the end of the day, we've got C equals minus 4 and K equals 2. Fine.